Hello and welcome to this seventh recording out of ten involving the product configuration models and how to set it up. Today we'll talk about the use of subcomponents and user requirements in the setup and what that means, what that actually happens when you go through the configuration, or what it actually does. So I'm going to use this speaker solution as an example. Last time we talked a little bit about bomb lines and we talked about route operations and so on. This time today we want to use the subcomponents and the user requirements which are settings right here. So the subcomponents represent the nodes in the model. So that means that if you add a, a subcomponent that can actually be a separate configuration that will generate whatever a subconfiguration to the current configuration that you're doing. That makes sounds a little bit confusing, but what it actually does, and then this is a great example for it, it allows you to do a subconfiguration where you can do some different selection and by that you will generate a bomb bill of material or sub route on the main configuration. The same thing goes for user requirements except for one thing. If this does not create a sub bomb, what this does is it actually create if it's an item or a component or an item in it, it actually generates a phantom bomb, for example. So it actually bypasses to create the sub bomb or sub route, but it actually creates the bill of material at the highest level up on the main item. Some of the good things is here is by doing that, you can combine all of these additional components and, and use them elsewhere. For example, the insurance could be a component that you can use here and you can use in different areas for different product configuration models. One of the other thing is that you can actually, on the top level here, you can set in constraints or calculations where you use some of the, the attribute values that you have on the sublevels. So you can actually drill down and use some of these components here to actually set the expressions or set the constraints. So that's a pretty cool feature. What we'll see here on this one here is that our subcomponents here has no condition of when it's hidden or not. However, the user requirements is. So we only want to show the insurance tab and have the user to configure it if they decide to set up some sort of insurance. So that's a little bit about the subcomponents and, and the user requirements. I'd like to show it now in terms of an example on a sales order. So what we'll do is we're going to go in, we'll create a sales order. So bear with me for a second here, sales order management. So I'm going to go ahead, I have already have a sales order here. I've been cheating a little bit, but I will go ahead and create a new line for you. So it's the D0006, okay? And as always, as soon as it recognizes the item number and it recognizes that is associated to an active version of a product configuration model, it activates this configure line functionality here. So what you see now is that you actually have two subcomponents as a user requirement. You can't see the difference here, obviously, because it's only based on how your configuration or how your bill of material are configured. And you can also see now there's a next button, so you can go to the next configuration and you can go to the next configuration, or you can just click here. So what I'll do here is I will go in and I will select, if I select true, notice that the insurance is now disappearing, or if, it's, if I select false, obviously. If I select true, then it's here. And I'm going to go ahead and include the cable, set a size, and do the cabinet finish, the front grill, and the speaker height. So all of these informations are now in the system. I'm going to set the insurance period to 4. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what you'll see now is that you will see a product bill of material here that are generated and this bill of material shows you have the bill of material here that is generated is you have a line the line is for the speaker cable you have a line for the high-end speaker that actually have a separate bomb underneath of it you see here and then you have your insurance that you actually added in here and you even see the quantity is set to four so and you can see the type here you see that this is a sub bomb so this is how you can display it, and this is how it's going to be generated. You can also see it here on the designer that you now have, based on what you do in the subcomponent, what selections you made in the subcomponent, you now have the whole setup for this item. So that's the way that the subcomponent and the user requirements are applied in the system. So cool little thing that you can set up and use in your 
configuration. So thanks again and have a great day and I'll see you next time.